I'm joined on set by our French politics editor, Mark Perelman. Mark, first of all, tell us um, what exactly is being declassified here? Well, it's an interesting uh, question because it's been a matter of uh, debate between the authorities and historians. Basically, uh, there's a 2008 law uh, by which any document, 50-year-old or older, is automatically declassified. This has been the rule, and this is how historians have been able to access archival material 50 years or older. However, in 2011, there was a government a requirement saying that if the document is classified as uh, top secret or secrets, it needs to be formally declassified, even if it's 50-year-old or older than that. And this requirement had not really been enforced until very recently, uh, where historians uh, were told when they sought archives 50 years older, no, this needs to be formally declassified. And you even had an absurd uh, situation where you had uh, documents that had been unsealed that were resealed. And this is why historians have filed a petition before France's top court saying they want the 2008 law to be fully enforced. The government said, OK, we will make sure historians can have better access to those archives and we'll try to reconcile the situation through new legislation uh, this summer. So historians are saying uh, what we are getting is something we were already getting by law and this should be automatic. This should not be decided by the government or the administration. Look, and we know that this is geared towards reconciliation between France and Algeria. You know, as I said, this remains a deeply controversial part of French history. Yes, because obviously this uh, new opening would uh, be about the Algerian war between 1954 and 1962. And uh, the French president has tried uh, to take a few steps, symbolic uh, steps. He recognized uh, last week that the prominent uh, lawyer uh, who was an Algerian nationalist had indeed been tortured and killed by the French military. Uh, he received at the French presidential palace uh, his grandsons and granddaughters. And so this was one of uh, those uh, gestures and opening the archives has been uh, something that the Algerian authorities have been asking uh, for a long, long time. All types of archives, military, political archives, and the French, uh, there is a feeling in Algeria that the French, especially the military, is not really willing uh, to allow this to open. So uh, the French president has been in touch with his Algerian counterpart uh, to try to move ahead and say, OK, this has been a painful, controversial uh, period, uh, this Algerian war, we need to, to look at it through new lenses and opening the archives or at least trying to open them more is a step in the right direction and has been acknowledged by the Algerian authorities, though not in public until now. Mark Perelman, thank you very much uh, indeed.